All right, everyone. Welcome to the Digital Gaming League, the DGL.com, MHSCA. Week three, varsity match between Christian Brothers and Hickman High School. I am your caster, Link, with co-caster Torix. What's up, Torix? Link, what's up, man? Happy to be here on the third week, the third straight week. And we're seeing some heavy hitters tonight in this match. Christian Brothers College High School versus Hickman High School out of Columbia. We have the Zoo versus the Lou. St. Louis, <laughs> Columbia. Really been wanting to uh, test that pun out today. So, anyways, it's going to be a great match um, starting out here on Li Zhang. Yeah, like we said last week, this is the uh, the third week that they've played these maps, so it should be interesting to see what strats we come out on at Li Zhang Tower first. Remember your training. We'll get through this just fine. Uh, Pretty gonna see what they come out here with in the beginning. Look at that fair combo. See if they stay in there. Fair and wrecking ball Five, four, on at Christian eight, Brothers. Two. So not a mirror match as they come out here. Who's going to get the edge in the beginning? And very quickly, Hickman on the objective, taking control. Who's going to get the first kill here? Diva on the point. Two Divas trying to match one another. The control point hasn't unlocked yet there. So they need to be careful about not getting picked off early. Nice little May wall, and then it looks like Winston's gonna go down first as Hickman one kills Gravity. Nice kill by May, May picking up two kills, and then Reinhardt coming in and trying to mop up the rest. Christian Brothers trying to regroup around the objective. First capture will go to Hickman, but uh, it's anyone's fight still, as we've seen in the past, Torix. Yeah, definitely this map favors aggression. We are in control, so. Um, we've seen the teams that have done well have been extremely aggressive and have not given an inch of the map. Yeah, unfortunately now, look, if you look at the ults right here, Hickman is going to get their ults pretty quickly. Moira already having, having her ult. She's going to definitely wait to use that for the crash. The Maywall coming in, protecting our Reinhardt, trying to wall them off. There, Myra goes in, looking to get a pick off, and there goes two by Myra. Myra picking off two, looking for a third. Can she connect? Junkrat going up. Gets taken down, actually blasting himself off of the uh, the point and down below. So Hickman already at 50% on this objective with three ults. You see May has her blizzard, so it's going to be a nice little combo here with that earth shatter. Yeah, and you see right here, Hickman has moved all the way up to the bridge. They're not waiting on the point. They're not wanting to let Christian, Christian Brothers CBC get any ground. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of ults pop here. Um, they're already at 70%. Uh, Mercy does have her ult, and now Myra as well for Christian Brothers, but it might not be enough to take this over. The ult battle, as always, as we've seen. Look for the Blizzard coming out here shortly. Diva trying to eat that, though. There comes Earth Shatter with the, the Blizzard. Oh, no, no Blizzard yet. Earth Shatter, nice little Earth Shatter, and a good pickup by Hickman. Hickman just taking them out. And only one ult there used. Great play by the Reinhardt, Mr. Fluffles. And Reaper getting in there, trying to do some damage. The Metro propping her ult as well. And you're going to see Mercy try to keep this alive, but great kill. You know, Symmetra with those turrets. And the great ult by Lucio. This is probably... Oh, here goes Diva's ult. Will she go to kill anyone? Oh, nice, nice block Maywall one. to block that. we go that's going to probably be gg's gr excuse me for hickman hickman taking the first round of lj 100 percent, not bad torx no not at all um hickman doing a really good job of establishing position um and really denying cbc any uh you know, chance at uh getting any sort of map control yeah, impressive play by Hickman. You know, Hickman got in there. They had, you know, a great with, you know, that Diva, May, and Reinhardt. You know, you've got a lot of control there. Um, and they just kind of stacked up their ults, or, or rather gathered their ults there together fairly quickly over Christian Brothers. Yeah, shout out to the Ned Nurb. Um, really good play by um, with May there dropping those ice walls. 
Yeah, so. This is interesting. We actually haven't seen, um, it's actually casted, um, this control point on LJ Tower. Usually it's the, um, the little shrine area. So now on the objective, looking to charge those ults again. Reinhardt swinging for his life. And the Reaper now connecting but Butter King, taking down Gravity. That Reinhardt is deep in enemy territory, but trusting his supports, they're pushing in. And you can and they, see now they're kind of staggering the kills. Right behind Mr. Fuffles there, um, dropping the shield and again, pushing all the way out here. Yeah, and, and a lot of ults coming out. Here goes the Earth Shatter. As soon as he gets it, cast the Earth Shatter, swinging for his life. Mr. Fuffles doing work right now. Butter King killing all the rest with that Reaper Reinhardt combo. Great play by Hickman, super aggressive. They left Myra back there to capture the objective while they pushed. Great and, stagger of kills. And they actually backed off just a little bit. Um, they're trying to force TBC in this choke point here. Yeah, and Reaper is almost ha has his ult, so you're gonna look for a Death Blossom here if he can charge it. He wants them to overextend. They may off one, doesn't need to use it yet. Myra with her ult and another Earth Shatter. Reaper getting in, wants to do the Death Blossom. Will he do it? He's uh, holding no, on like to he it. Just, yeah, he's gonna hold it off, that's good. He doesn't really need to use it yet. Good control by Hickman there. Still holding on to that Reaper ult. We'll see what Christian can do. They kinda, they kinda use their ults there. Or they're switching it up, really. Yeah, they're gonna try to get behind Reinhard, Reinhardt's shield here. They're just, they're just kinda eating up that time. There goes the Death Blossom by Reaper. Getting one, getting two. That's gonna be enough. Now you're gonna see Hickman push out and try to capitalize on that death that the Reaper and there we go, great play. And they're just gonna kind of stagger these kills here. And like, what happens here is you kind of just get into this, you know, um, staggered gameplay, unfortunately. Christian not being able to regroup and, and kind of get out of their spawn. Joe 45 has the D.Va ult. Looks like they're trying to take an alternate route here to the left. Yeah, so Reaper called them out. Now they're gonna adjust. Great change up by Christian Brothers. The Maywall actually blocking them out. Let's see if they can get onto that point. Still so many ults. Here goes the Diva ult on the top. He's gonna connect and kill the Myra. Now they need to push in, but no, they're separated and getting staggered. Earth Shatter by Fluffles. Nice Maywall. And Reinhardt just kind of mopping them up right now. Great play by Hickman there. And a nice push by Christian Brothers there at the end. That's yeah. what they needed to do. They, they kind of switched it up and got in there, and they got on that objective, so... Yeah, unfortunately, uh. I think they got stuck a little bit trying to fight that first choke point when they initially got pushed off. Um, they, they did try that other route at the end that I think was a... And again, Mr. Fluff was doing a great job here. Really good tank play um, all the way around. Um, but, uh, yeah, they, they, they tried that initial... Um, for that that different choke point and it just i think was a little bit too late so and you can see this this replay here of um again hickman high school just totally pushing christman brothers all the way out back to their spawn so really good really good aggression sure yeah they they you know they knew they had ult advantage um and they felt comfortable pushing up like that and and, and you know staggering those deaths and then christian brothers just couldn't really um quite recover from that but i think you know christian they had a great push there at the end that was absolutely fantastic um it kind of worked out for them because because may kind of missed her wall off just a little bit she was trying to separate them right and then she would you know kill the people that got stuck behind but um good push by christian there at the end so it'll be interesting what they choose now moving to el dorado um we've kind of seen a mix up here if, if teams want to choose to attack or defend torx yeah, so that is the name of the game. I, I'm going to assume... So generally what we've seen is when we see super aggressive teams take that first map, um, and those, those of you who do not know, um, the loser of the first round does pick attack or defense on the next map. Um, generally we do see the loser, I think we've seen at least, um, chooses defense. What are your thoughts on that, Link? Yeah, I think I think we have seen that. You know, it was kind of mixed in the first week, but definitely during the second week, it kind it kind of seemed, you know, that they that people 
kind of favorite defense. Um, you know, definitely at the at the at the varsity. Um, they love playing up. You're gonna you know see them up top, um, or whatnot. But um, I think actually, what we're what we're seeing here. Let's see when they change the change the map. But um, they're gonna probably if this is right, we'll see what they select. We'll see. We'll see. But definitely look out for rooftop play. That's what we've seen from a, from a lot of the a lot of the player the players on defense, especially out of these varsity teams. Uh, controlling those rooftops on defense is just so powerful. You just got a lot of harassment power from up top. Yeah, where aggression seems to be the name of the game for Li Zhang Tower. Um, I think map positioning is is the name of the game for El Dorado. Yeah, absolutely. You look look to see you know um, a fight for the skies for for those high points. Um, if you we we've seen some teams kind of get away with just sitting on the high points. And uh, really just wreaking havoc without any sort of, you know, cohesive uh, counterattack. So definitely would like to see both teams fight for those elevated points. Yeah. Looks like we're going to see uh, a small little substitution and about a, a four to five minute break. So. Yeah. Oh, well, we will take a break ourselves. Sounds good. We'll see you when we get back. See you later. At a credit union, our mem... time it is. Marvin Devine, Hoover, Axel.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is I, Torx, joined with Link. We are going to continue this action. Christian Brothers taking on Columbia Hickman here in week three. Varsity Overwatch. Link, how's it going? Good, man, good. Yeah, that was a, a pretty good first match. It looks like, you know, Hickman came out pretty strong and, you know, just kind of controlling the the point. Um, Christian Brothers on that second second round they they got you know they did a good job at the very end but it was kind of just too little too late hickman kind of just had a, a lot of control and a, and a lot more ult charge um they just um they just did a really good job of staggering those deaths and then pushing them kind of back into their spawn as we've seen from some of those um you know aggressive uh, uh teams that in in this the last few weeks yeah definitely great great use of the reinhardt shield on the offensive side um I say offensive side, but it was control, so really both teams are offensive. But great play with the Reinhardt, May, Moira. I mean, all around really good aggression from Hickman. Um, uh, Christian Brothers did kind of make a little bit of a strategy change at the end there that did yield some results. So we'll see how that translates. In addition to that, they do have a substitution. Um, so we do have a, a player that we did not see, um, Mike Hole, that is, that is subbed in for Christian Brothers. So we'll see if that yeah. uh, how that changes things. Yeah, so it's interesting, you know, like we're like we we're saying, um, it looks like Christian Brothers have decided to start on attack. So, you know, kind of contrary to what we said, you know, it's it, you know different strokes for different folks. Um, they uh, starting on attack on El Dorado, and like we were saying uh, before, a short little break. Definitely look out for um, defense Hickman to dominate the skies and rooftops. So it should be it should be an interesting matchup. We'll see you know what Christian Brothers on attack can come out with here. So we'll see as they set up their defense, as we've seen before. They really like that May. I, you know, I just love to see the May wall. It, they, they love kind of the, with the May wall and the Reinhardt and the Diva. It's just such a nice little combination that they have there. The Diva having so much mobility around on the rooftops is something that we definitely saw in week two from these varsity teams. Just so much harass power. Yeah, notice we have Diva, um, Mike Hole, right here on the spawn. Um, I don't see the rest of the, the rest of the teams just positioned kind of around the high points. I think Diva might be there to bait out some. Yeah, I just Players. want to see see what they're kind of rolling with. Oh my goodness, Anna coming out and sleeping the Reinhardt immediately. See them kind of playing back here. Diva with a lot of survivability. She's just trying to play harass. Both teams playing with that Anna. Look for that anti nade, anti nade on Reinhardt, but they have a Zarya. Christian Brothers with that Zarya looking to defend their Reinhardt as they come down. And Reaper is actually going to go down the McCree. And the Reinhardt, great fire strike. Was that a fire strike? I believe it was. Taking him down. But now we have that first fight underneath. Maywall looks off, and Reinhardt is by himself. Nice anti-nade by Anna. And then a takedown by Hickman. Great anti by the Anna Thunder. Just like that, the truck starts to move back. Yeah, and they are kind of separated. Farah oh. without her, yeah. Pharaoh without her mercy is going to get taken down, and now they've been staggered a little bit, so they've got to regroup. Not too bad, though. They're not far off. So here goes Diva on top of the roof, like we said, trying to harass. Yeah, I misspoke earlier. My Cole was substituted for Hickman. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. my Christian brothers. There you go. And a nice look that, you know, the... Uh, Good sleep right May, away on Diva. May, yeah, and there's an anti-nade, so you can look for the kills coming down. Nice push by Mr. Fluffles, as we've seen. And a great play, May walling back and just running away. So beautiful anti-nade by Thunder. Thunder coming in clutch there. The anti-nade just being so strong in those team fights. Great play and teamwork by Hickman. Yeah. CBC is coming out. Now they're... Now they're grouped up. We'll see if Gravity can make some plays with the tank, set up the DPSs. So Mr. Fuffles does have his ult. For so look for an Earth Shatter here as soon as they pop Close down that Reinhardt shield. Oh, and Mr. Fuffles has been isolated. Can they capitalize on this? They do. Christian Brothers need to capitalize on the kills they've just gotten. Pushing that playload, moving forward. And a nice Maywall, but D.Va gets around with that mobility. Great push by Christian Brothers. 
Very well done. Uh, and you can see Hickman retreating, not trying to give them another kill. CBC has come out here swinging. Um, uh, and you do see a lot of, you know, Zarya's probably going to pop her ult here, trying to go for a kill. Nice sleep by Anna. And there's the Earth Shatter and an anti. And Reaper trying to kind of get a kill. He gets one on the Lucio, but here, here oh, they he's come. He's stuck. He's, swinging. he's frozen. Eclipse is frozen. And oh, and a nice anti nade. Can Christian Brothers? There we go. The Reinhardt goes down, and it's just a duel right now. Butter King trying to mop up the rest of them. And yeah, the Anna is probably going to get taken down here, doing their best to survive. You can actually see they're just um. They're staggering the death here. So this is great play right here. There we go, then they kill her. So that's kind of been, uh, you know, Christian Brothers, unfortunately, they just, you know, they keep, keep kind of getting staggered like that. So that was a great control by Hickman to not kill off Mr. Food, the Anna for Christian Brothers. Yeah, that being said, Christian Brothers did a very good job of getting the truck all the way to the fountain here. Um, and here we go. We're going to see a lot of ults pop. There it goes. And I think the D.Va actually, oh no, the Blizzard is down. Yes, they did actually get it. So great D.Va ult to kind of counterbalance that attack. Nice push by Christian Brothers. We have McCree ult up. A lot of ults up. Yeah, ult but up. when you have 50, 15 seconds remaining and Lucio just trying desperately to run away and distract them, this is going to be the final push. I don't know if they're actually going to be able to get on the objective. Lucio is going to have to buy some time here. But he might get taken down, and as he does, nice push by Reaper on the objective. He's got to desperately stay alive. Here comes the ult by by the McCree. Doesn't get anybody. And there we go. Nice block of the Earth Shatter by the Reinhardt. Great play by Christian Brothers trying to stay alive. But unfortunately, it's just not going to be enough. And the Lucio again trying to jump on. He's going to take him down. Not a bad push, though, by Christian Brothers there, Torix. Yeah, um, just short of that second checkpoint, but I mean, really good push there at the end. That's that's uh, that is a winnable. That's winnable if they can hold, they can hold off Hickman. That is a winnable, winnable uh, performance. Yeah, and it was a great um, a great May wall that separated out Fluffles Christian Brothers. They dropped that May wall down, and um, Fluffles kind of got isolated, and they took down that Reinhardt, and then kind of capitalized yeah. on it. And that's what really got it, them that push. Yeah, in addition to that, they actually sent Eclipse, the Reaper, for uh, CBC and you know, took out, um, I believe it was the Pharah, which also, you know, gave the Reinhardt even less support. So yeah. Really good plays. Flanking, isolating, really nice. So we will see. So now we've swapped sides. You'll see uh, Pikmin now on attack and Christian Brothers on defense. So, sticking, sticking with that Lucio, but kind of a mirror match right now. Kind of seeing uh, Christian Brothers kind of picking the same classes as Hickman did, that Reinhardt Diva. Yeah, we don't see a Reaper anymore. Looks like Reaper's been subbed out for Eclipse, or for McCree by Eclipse. Um, other than that, we have a Genji as well now. So, a little bit, little bit of uh, hero changes. Yeah, that Genji is going to look to flank, so both teams. Yeah, you see Genji and D.Va going up on top of the roofs to put on pressure. So look at Reinhardt. Fluffles has pushed so far up. They're just hiding behind that payload. There we go, and you're going to see him push back. Genji with the harass. Trying to get that ult charge and get behind him with that Dragon Blade. Pushing up, so Hickman's already pretty much deep up into enemy territory. Here's going to be the first fight here. Nice block by Lucio. Oh, a nice anti-nade by Hickman. Oh, good Maywall. Trying to block them off, and here's going to be the first team fight. Who is it going to be? Mr. Pooh getting taken down. And now Hickman just keeps kind of pushing into their line. They just need to capture this first objective. Push your ult. Uh, yeah, he's going to drop that ult, trying to keep them alive on the point. Trying to Nice anti-nade. But will Hickman be able to capitalize on it? Yes, they will. 
So Christian Brothers trying to keep this alive. They're waiting for their team, coming back. And Kree's gonna pop his ult Eclipse. Is he gonna be get any kills on it? Oh, oh he actually does! Nice shots by Eclipse. And there goes the Blizzard ult. Just kind of a little early on that Blizzard ult. Just kind of area deny them. And then Genji having that Dragon Blade. Look for Genji to pop his Dragon Blade to kind of get some kills on here. And Christian Brothers actually kind of got staggered right there. Or not Christian Brothers, excuse me. Hickman got staggered. Great play by Christian Brothers. Kind of staggering those deaths. And Hickman is going to be forced to regroup here. Putting that truck in reverse. They're going to see a push here soon by Hickman. But the Diva old as well. Cole might drop this. Yeah, and we're going to look probably... Reinhardt does have his Earth Shatter, so look for the Nano on Reinhardt. There's a good anti-nade and the Earth Shatter. Reinhardt's going to go in and swinging. Does he get nano yeah. Yes, he does. Reinhardt gets nano. May blocks the Diva ult. Oh. Great block by the May from Christian Brothers. And a great play by Christian Brothers taking that team fight. That was absolutely beautiful textbook. The Reinhardt Earth Shatter, then the Nano coming out. And the May wall to block the Diva ult. That was absolutely beautiful play, Torix, by Christian Brothers. Yeah, great combo of ults there. And uh, again, recognizing where the threat is and reacting immediately to defend it. I mean, that Diva ult could have really changed the round. Yeah, and they've already, they, you know, now they're kind of, the, the, the ultimates are kind of favoring um, Christian Brothers right now. I gotta be careful about shooting that Zarya. So we do see some classes changed up here, so. So a lot of ults coming out for Christian Brothers here. Maybe. Oh, nice May wall by the Reinhardt. Are oh, they trying to capitalize on that? Reinhardt still has his shield. They need to be careful of not overextending. And here we go. Here comes a team fight. Here goes Genji with that Dragon Blade. The Blizzard gets popped. Oh, and he freezes the Reinhardt. Great pop by the May. Freezing the Reinhardt, not being able to capitalize on that Earth Shatter. Great timing and separation by Christian Brothers. And I think Genji was in the background. Oh, excuse me. No, it's Doomfist. Doomfist, Doomfist. all the way in the back. Doom, Doomfist, Doomfist all the way in the back. Yeah, this is an absolutely phenomenal play and a hole by Christian Brothers right here. Doomfist is in the back. He almost has his ult, but there we go. Nice. This is going to be the final push. We don't see many ults. Diva has her ult. Look for Diva to pop her ult here. <gasps> she gets frozen. <gasps> there we go. She pops her ult. Reinhardt is going to block that. Oh, but she does get Zarya. Zarya was outside. Gets taken down. And it's going to be off to the races. Hickman and Christian Brothers. Who is it going to be? Looks like Hickman getting a lot of kills. Diva still on point. Good survivability. And you do see a Wrecking Ball coming out. Trying to keep the dream alive. Wrecking Ball has a lot of survivability. Yeah, and there's actually a Wrecking Ball on both teams. Oh, no. So, yeah, he's going to be careful. A little do -si do around the point. And yeah, Joe 45 is going to get taken down. And now Hickman is probably going to be able to get into this point as the deaths kind of get staggered. Let's see what Christian Brothers can do. I don't see any ults coming out. Yeah, and that's going to be Diva pushing on point, but she should go down soon. She gets anna and Frozen and pretty much destroyed immediately. Nice job by Hammy, though. Hammy coming all the way back. There we go. My goodness, on, they're in overtime. They do not want to keep, let them get this point. And let's see, they need to get an ult out there, but I don't know if they're going to get it. Another contestation, and can they get a kill? They Working have numbers so on it this time. Hard. Yeah, and Lucio has his ult for Christian Brothers. Can he just get to the point and pop that, try to keep his team up? Yes, he did. Oh, and oh, you see a soldier, first. actually. But the oh, nice mate wall blows. and Diva is in it again on this on the point. Look at this fantastic hole. Wrecking oh. Ball gets off! Oh no! Wrecking Ball got off for a split second there at the end. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, what an epic play at the end there by both schools. Absolutely phenomenal, Torx. Absolutely. I mean, Christian Brothers really, I mean, they really came alive this round. This, um, this was a beautiful play right here. They. The nano boost, you know, with the Reinhardt Earth Shatter, absolutely phenomenal.
Definitely. I mean, and we also saw, I mean, we saw some really good Maywalls um, there that round as well to, to really, you know, really use in a really defensive way. So, I mean, that, um, that was a close game, Torx. That was a close game. Absolutely. That, that was, that was probably the closest round we've seen, um, you know, maybe yeah. all season. I, I think out of all the, the matches we've casted, that was really down to the wire. That was yeah. really fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Just unfortunately, you know, if um if Christian Brothers there had had a, a few a few ults, you know, that could have gone their their way, but I mean, hats off to both teams, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, just right at the end, um in that in that final struggle, just Hickman, you know, was able to secure some really really key kills. And unfortunately, all you had was um you know, Joe with the wrecking ball trying to keep the dream alive. Did a really good job of, of delaying it for his team. Just unfortunately, um, for CBC, Hickman just had the numbers. Um, really good job by Hickman as well at the end there to, to pull it out. Because um, if you noticed the distances, um, Christian Brothers had the edge there. Right up until the end. Yeah, just keeping their composure, you know. Um, you know, they knew they just had to get to that last point. But, I mean, I mean, hats off to both teams. Both teams played very well. Yeah, so definitely, now some, moving on. definitely some really high play here. We can a uh, absolutely see why both teams are undefeated thus far this season. Um, I know everyone's got to be excited to watch this match. Yeah, so now moving on, we'll go to the Lunar Colony. We've seen some interesting strats on Lunar Colony, some some really fast pushes and fast gameplay. Uh, we'll see what both these teams can come out with. Yeah, last week we saw Rockbridge um, maybe play as aggressive as we've seen on defense um, on this map, on Lunar Colony. So definitely would like to see how uh, how these two teams play it. Will we see the well-known <laughs> Symmetra port Portal Strat? Yes. We'll see. I think we've seen the most variation on this map, to be honest. I'd agree with that. Would, yeah, I, I, I thought I thought the Symmetra was going to be the one, but then, you know, like week two, I, I don't even think we saw it at all. We so. did not. No, we didn't see the the cheesy uh, portal rush. And I don't say cheesy in a bad way. I mean, it's definitely something wrong with definitely cheese. effective. Nope. Cheese is good. Pizza. I rest my case. <laughs> so it looks like... Mic off. Mic on. Okay. Okay. Looks like see Hickman will be on defense, and uh, <clears throat> Christian Brothers will be on attack. Just waiting for the go ahead from these teams. Will we see a map four, Torix? Out of all the matches we've casted, we have not seen a map four. Yeah, I, should, I would I love to see I, a map four. I always say it wrong. I should walk. EW. I can't. I can't. Words. Is that the abbreviation? I just made it up. So it is now. All right. New map. New map. Meta termino terminology meta. E you heard it here first. E-dubs. E-dubs. I like it. E-dubs. <laughs> so it looks like... Yeah, we'll see. Just great. The last map was absolutely phenomenal. I, you know, I'm I'm excited to see uh, Lunar Colony and see what these two teams have. And it looks like we're gonna be going live here, ladies and gentlemen, with map number three. Hickman is currently up 2-0, but that last map, that was a close one. Yeah, so we'll I mean, see. yeah, it, Hickman showing some really high level play, but so is Christian Brothers. I mean, they really came alive that map. Um, definitely well practiced um, for both teams. Uh, and we will we'll see underway shortly. What what heroes these teams select? Lunar Colony, the DGL, Week Three, Varsity, Christian Brothers versus Hickman High School. So I actually switched that around. It's actually. Uh, Oh, no, that's right. Christian Brothers. Yeah. And there's that, there's that, uh, 
Symmetra play. So Butter King with that Symmetra, will he switch that up? You know, looking to see that. Definitely Pretty looking for the portal rush. A Junkrat on defense. Interesting. Is he, you know, going to put that... Let's see where he puts this down. He might be looking to... Yeah, yes, he does. Puts the trap down Five. with the mine. Looking to explode it. Alright. So. Hickman attacking. What will they come out with? Oh! Okay, they saw that. <laughs> the jump. <laughs> a little bit of a troll right there just coming out. Here comes the Maywall. Nice Maywall. Symmetra's teleporter getting destroyed. They only actually got one person on. May actually got through, but then she gets picked off. So great play by Christian Brothers. Now Hickman trying to capitalize on losing their teammate. A great kill by Junkrat. And here we go. The kill's coming in. The Reinhardt swinging. And Hickman kind of just getting taken down piece by piece right now, having to retreat. Joe's looking for a kill. Nice stagger kill on Myra. Great kill by Joe on Thunder. That was the first counter we've seen to the, to the Symmetra teleport. They were ready for it. I think uh, that might have been why we didn't see it last week. Um, I think it's yeah. a it's a well-known thing that people, yeah, people May, look for. May unfortunately went through the, the portal. And she was the only one before it got destroyed. So it looks like they're not they're not gonna try to get Oh look at the May wall again! And here goes Junkrat with his Oh, is he gonna be able to get any kills? Looking for a May, but it's might be running out of time here. Coming back around. Well we see it. Oh, oh triple, triple kill! kill. Triple oh. kill by Eclipse! That's gonna be huge for Christian Brothers. And then they need to stagger this kill on the Reinhardt. Don't kill him too early. All right, he gets taken down. They wanted that kill. Oh, too bad to stagger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great play by that junk rat. My goodness. Now, Hickman has two ults here, right? So they might be able to make something happen. Yeah. But, you know, also the D.Va, D.Va, both Reinhardts have their ults. May almost has her ult as well, so... This is going to be Battle of the Ults right now. Hickman desperately trying to get in. Oh, there goes the ult by both of them. Here come the ult pops. Diva pops her ult. Will she be able to get any kills from behind? Reinhardt blocks it. He gets antied. But it seems like Hickman has kind of separated them now. Is Blizzard going to be popped on the stand? If it does, she's not going to be able to capitalize on it. Exotics kind of needs to hold on to her ult. Fantastic push there. Yeah. And a good control by Exotics. Exotics just kind of running, or I think she actually went down there. Yeah, unfortunately, I think Maybe. Exotics dropped in to get the ult um, and got taken out. Yeah, almost immediately. Well, they got the Earth Shatter, right? So be beautiful Earth Shatter by the Reinhardt and then picking off that, um, the May. So here comes May. Watch MA to drop that Blizzard on the stand. Um, look, there goes the Blizzard, uh -oh. but Double they're kind of just, just off the objective, so. There's the anti on the Reinhardt. Oh! Fluffles is going to get taken down. Surrounding Mr. Fluffles. Yeah. He shouldn't have pushed in there, unfortunately. Now they just kind of need to pick them off slowly and surely. And then the Reaper. Devo. Now Devo coming up on top and the and the Blizzard oh, no as kill. well. Yeah, and their Blizzard, unfortunately, is going to get Myra and the other May. So they're going to get taken down on the point. point. Junkrat's junk stuck here on the ult. Oh, yeah, too late. he's trying to get in there. So great second push by Hickman there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, really good initial defense by by Christian Brothers. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that was the um, at least from what we shoutcasted, that was the longest hold, I believe, on the first point that anyone has had in the last three weeks. So that was some some beautiful gameplay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Maywalls for days. Reinhardt's. I mean, just all sorts of just crazy, crazy plays. So we'll see you know, what the time is to beat. 3.33. Yeah, Christian Brothers hung on. Um, really delayed it there, so we'll see. At least delayed it relatively to what we've seen, so. Yeah, it looks like Hickman's going to come out with the Orisa. 
on defense. Yeah, I've noticed uh, Christian Brothers. Sorry, Hickman has been pretty fluid with uh, their uh, comps. Definitely yeah, but a little, a, a, a little guessing. bit, of, a little bit of change up here on Hickman. I, this is the first time we've seen Ash get played. Um, you see, Butter King is playing with Ash. So, in, interesting choice there. You know, and uh, it looks like Christian Brothers is also going to go. Um, for the Symmetra play. So here comes the spam out by Nednerb. So they're going to try and keep that Symmetra portal down. Yes, they do. And they're going to get caught out right now. And the nice anti-nade by the Anna. Reinhardt pushing in, but he's going to get actually taken down. Beautiful shot. That was Orisa and Anna combo. And now they're kind of just getting staggered on that objective. Christian Brothers trying to push in. But they're going to get picked off. So, trying to regroup here. They still have time remaining. It's a great play. Um, you know, it's interesting. We don't see a May on defense by Hickman right now. Um, which is, I think, the first time both one, Hickman hasn't chosen May, if I'm correct. So, great harass by Junkrat here on the defense by Nednerb. He's just trying to keep that Symmetra wall, uh, teleporter down. There you go. You see them push in. And here comes the push onto the plate. Nice, nice anti-nade. Oh, a huge anti-nade right there. Hitting four of them. And that's going to prove to be super detrimental for Christian Brothers. Hickman just picking them off one by one. Beautiful play by Thunder with that anti. And four going down quick. So they're going to have to regroup here. Yeah, it seems... Um, if I'm Christian Brothers here, I'm, I'm dropping the Symmetra play. Um, I think uh, Hickman is very wise to the to the portal. Right, and here portal it looks rushes. like, as you said, they, they did drop that Symmetra. I'm not... You know, they're going to try and take down some of these shields with the soldier. Trying to get into kills there, but they're still going to have to get up there. And now you're going to see Nednerb. Nednerb actually has his ult, so look for the Junkrat ult. He's going to wait for it. There it comes. It comes down. He knows they're coming out there. Oh! And a triple kill. Huge kill. Nednerb. Nednerb. Uh, going off right there. He knew they were coming up those that stairwell, and he just rode it along the top and then dropped it in. So a beautiful play by Nednerb. And yeah, now we're going to see it. Taking all the wind out of that push. Yeah, and Baptiste, Reinhardt, and Ash have their ults here, so not a lot of ults for Christian Brothers. Actually, none. I'm gonna charge it up. So. And there we go. Baptiste coming out, amplifying that damage, making sure they don't push around the corner. Ooh, nice Maywall! But unfortunately, you know, not being able to push it. So Baptiste kind of wasted his ult there, but they still got three ults. Look for a drop in here. Anna, is she going to nano that Reinhardt and send him in? Oh, they're pushing underneath. But there are four ults, Torix. Coming they're down driving. on Christian. Yep, there we go. There's one ult by Arissa. That's Reinhardt. Yep. And here comes the ult by Anna. Did that Reinhardt get that nano? Yes, he did. Uh, Earthshatter coming out as well. Oh, and he actually gets frozen by the May. May walling herself off and trying to get away. She's going to get caught out by Fluffles as well. And, and once again, they've kind of been separated. I don't know where Joe was um, in that fight. I think they kind of just got separated off. And now they're kind of just getting picked off and st staggered right now, Torix. Yeah, that being said, it looks like... PBC is grouped up. They have a lot of ults, but they do not have a lot of time. Reinhardt is oh, going to have to push pin. in. Yeah, good I pin onto Ash, but here comes the ult, the ult again. Nice block by Reinhardt. Now they need to push in and help him. Earth Reinhardt, Shatter. Yeah, but anti made by Anna, and Reinhardt's going to go down, and Mercy will Mercy pick up that Reinhardt. Yes, she does. There's the res. Lucio dropping his ult. They desperately need to get some picks here. Pushing onto the objective, it looks like it's just the supports, Mercy and Lucio. Lucio get taken down. Diva's back on. 
But it looks like it's going to be a Picking slow death off. here. Tr Tracer just getting back on the objective, trying to keep the dream alive. Tracer doing a good job of staying alive, but then she's going to get taken down, and that's going to be GG's. Ladies and gentlemen, Hickman winning 3-0, but great fight by Christian Brothers, Torix. Yeah, really high-level play by both teams. Um, and again, this is going to be probably the triple kill um, junk red ult um, that we saw earlier. But uh, yeah, yeah, definitely taking all the wind out of out of CBC sails on the push. I mean, it looked like they were starting to make ground, and that was a really good counterplay. So, um, but that all that being said, it was 3-0, but I, I thought the last two maps were pretty close, and we definitely saw mm -hmm. some really, really, really high-level play. Really cool strategies. Um, it looks like the Symmetra Portal strat does not work at the varsity level <laughs> from what we've Both seen. Both teams actually got countered with it. I know. So, well, actually, you know, Christian Brothers got in there. They it's did just, get in um, there, but instant Maywall. Yeah. Right on the destination. Um, really, really well done. So, um, definitely want a very exciting match to watch. Yeah. So, hats off to both teams. Um, so, the next two weeks, um, the ma maps have not been decided, but they, they will here short be decided here shortly. Um, oh, yeah. That's that's a really good point. So, um, as, as some of you know, the first three weeks were the same map pool. And this is kind of the culmination of, of that rotation. Teams have had two weeks to play on it prior to this. And um, now week four is going to be interesting because now it's a whole new map rotation. There's not going to be as much experience, maybe, depending on, on the teams. Yeah, it was rather impressive. You know, um, we've kind of just seen these teams grow and get better um, over the last few weeks, which is to be expected. But, uh, I'm you know, I'm really I'm really really proud and, and it just looks really really great you know these these teams coming out swinging adapting you know staying in the fight so i'm excited to you know to see see week four and week five and see what these you know what these teams have in store for us so anyways i just want to say uh thanks again from the dgl the digital gaming league this is uh season one overwatch mhsea this is week three varsity you're watching congratulations to hickman GG's to both teams, Christian Brothers and Hickman High School. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next week.